disappointed with the results tonight. Thanks for coming and speaking to us this evening. Give us uh, just kind of your emotions right now, how it feels to, to work back to this point and, and come up short. <clears throat> well, very disappointed. Not because he won the fight, but because I lost, you know. It wasn't – I didn't do – I don't think I – I, I didn't do any mistake during the fight. Actually, everything was working very well. You know, I know I know he's a, he walks forward all the time, and I like to I like to walk backwards and enjoy the opportunities that my opponents give to me. And I was throwing some hard kicks, and the kicks were working very well. And uh, I I remember until I remember <laughs> the last kick I threw on him, he was like he felt a lot on that thing, and I said. I felt, you know, I did well. Now I have to move, and then I don't remember anymore. Yeah, because that's the heavyweight division, you know. Sometimes uh, I, I think I already f make many, many guys feel like that, you know. But it's terrible, man. <laughs> it's terrible because I have, I was prepared. I am prepared, and um, I, I had a lot to to give there, you know, and everything, like I said, everything was working very well, you know, the way uh, we expect. We know he's a tough guy who would come very, he would walk, would walk forward all the time. And like I said, you know, the kicks, the, something else that I brought to the fight was working. And then I have to watch the fight now to see what happened. Yeah. I think coming into the fight, a lot of people were saying, He's much improved over the first time you fought. Make that. I know you didn't get 25 minutes with him this time, but in what you saw, did you feel like he had improved and taken steps up since the first time you met? Uh, I think so. You know, he's doing actually great. And today, tonight, he did he did great too. You know, like I said, I I didn't do any mistake. You know, he it was uh, on him. He did very well actually. You know, and. Uh, Heavyweights, man, <laughs> that's tough. But like, like you know, I'm not. I'm, I'm sad, of course. I would like to win this, you know. I like. I, I would like to become the champion again. But if I'm not the champion, I'm glad this guy is the champion. He's a, he's a really nice guy. I still think the same, you know. He deserves that. And tonight was his night, you know. I don't know, actually. I, I like I said, you know, I have to sit down and watch the fight and see what happened. Because uh, after the third kick I threw, I threw on, him, on him, I felt like, man, it's working perfect, perfectly. You know, now I just need to keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, two, one, two more minutes is going to be done. And, and lastly for me, I mean, I guess the good thing is it does potentially set up a trilogy somewhere down the line. But... What's the immediate plans for you? We know, you know, a, a new father. You've got good things going on in your life. Um, what's the immediate plans? Do you want to take some time off and be at home? Do you, do you want to kind of get back quickly and put this behind you? What's, what's the immediate thought? I want to come, uh, come back as soon as possible. You've obviously been one of the best heavyweights in the world for a long time. You've been champion, um, and you faced pretty much everybody in the UFC. Where where would you put Stipe in that in that all time great list? I mean, you're you're you know you're obviously there as well. But I mean, would you say Stipe in your mind is one of the greatest heavyweights of all time? If not, maybe the greatest. He's on the way. Yeah, he's on the way to be, because he's doing actually great. And like I said, I admire him. You know, and. And like I said again, you know, if I'm not the champion, I'm happy he's the champion. He, he's a nice guy, and he represents very well the, the sport spirit. And I know you said, you know, win, lose, or draw, you were not, you know, done fighting for the title. Is that, I know it hurts tonight, but, I mean, does that still fire you up to know that, you know, you want to get back there, that you will fight for that title one day, whether it's Stipe or somebody else? Oh, of course, man. Like, I'm 33 years old, and... I still have a lot to, you know, a long time to go. 
And I love to do this, man. And like I said, everything was working perfectly, like we planned. But then I don't remember what happened. You know, I actually I felt, like I said, you know, after the third kick, I felt happy in my heart. I said, man, it's working. I'm going to win. And then, you know, heavyweights. He connected. I didn't see. He threw the, he threw, I saw him throwing the, throwing the, a cross, and I, I like escaped the, cro the cross, and then um, I don't remember. I have to watch the fight and see what happened. Junior, yeah, you, you mentioned your memory is not. You, do you, it looked from the replay, it looked like when he hit you with the right, your he head might have bounced off the cage. Do you remember that? And when you, when you, when you fell down, were you just not, is that when you kind of didn't, didn't have the memory of yeah. what happened? I remember, I don't remember. Uh, what what kind of punch connect on me, you know? And but I remember I was trying to to back up to get up, you know. Then uh, the referee was on, on top of me and stopped the fight. I'm <laughs> I'm feeling actually the back of my head. If you guys can see, it's, uh, it's swelling here. But it was I think it was my mistake. My my coach said, you know, it was my mistake because uh, when he came, he threw the 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 cross against me, and I did this, and the second cross hit me here. And you mentioned how Stipe looks like a fighter on his way to potential greatness. You know, you fought him twice. What is it going to take for someone to beat him? Well, what's going to take for someone to beat him? Like, it's going to take a lot, you know. This guy is a real deal, like I said, uh, during the week, and he's doing very well and they, you know he has really heavy hands um, so man the way I see is he, he's gonna continue to to grow in this division and this whole scenario of the that the UFC is living now and become one of the greatest oh yeah Junior. when I talked to you on the Dallas tour two months ago you said that this was gonna be your moment of truth Win or lose. Now that you went through it, what did you learn from it? This is truth. This is truth. This guy, he's. I I said that during the week. You know, many many guys, many many guys on this division, they are not truth. You know, after we could see this happening after you saw this year and all many many things was happening. But this guy, man, he didn't change. Didn't change anything. Actually, he he got better. You know, and uh, he's still improving. So the truth is this, you know, Miocic is the champion right now. Have you been kind of vocal about that this week, about um, how people look different or fight different since you saw the game? Is there anybody that you want to fight that you think that it, it paid a, maybe played a role in the outcome or something in the last couple of years? Well, I don't pick opponents. You know, I'm here to fight. And now I'm looking forward for my next fight already because I want to delete these things, man. I, I, I don't... I, I have to to sit down and I try to understand what kind of lesson, you know, and God wants me to, to understand because, yeah, it's, but I'm here, you know, I'm here, I'm, I'm still looking forward for, for my future, um, uh, you know, fights, because that's what I love to do. Today it didn't work well for me, but uh, I felt good. And I felt almost there, and I, I felt like winning. After <laughs> my third kick, I felt winning. Till lights out. 